Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 25290, and of course it is released on the 1st of February. So this is the first build for Windows 11 in the dev channel in the month of February. And of course in this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, what has improved, and also what is fixed in this newest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, what you need to know about this build is that this build is available for ARM64 devices as the known issue that resulted in, in not releasing build 25284 to ARM64 last week has been fixed. First of all, in this build, Microsoft is testing out some new widgets. We have the old messenger widget from the last build as we saw and now we have the Spotify and also the phone link widgets. If you open up the widgets board you should be able to see those widgets here to be added for example the phone link and of course you should be up to date in the Microsoft Store with all the apps by opening up the Microsoft Store and then going into a library and then getting updates. I think this is pretty nice that Microsoft is trying out new different widgets that could be useful and could add more value to the widgets board and of course the good news is that with the release of Windows App SDK 1.2 even developers are now able to create widgets for their apps. Users can access these experiences on their Windows Windows 11 widgets board in the current dev channel insider preview builds. Also Microsoft provides a tutorial on how to develop a widget and I'm going to link that below in the article so you can see it if you're interested. After you've updated everything of course you can go into the widgets board, click on the plus button and you should be able to see all the widgets and add them if you want as I've said before. Right now after the newest build installation you can see that these two widgets are a bit bugged but I'm sure that a restart or a reload of the widgets board would fix the issue. Another new addition in this Windows Insider preview build is some new start menu badging. Starting today, Microsoft is starting a new exploration of badging on the start menu with two new treatments that some insiders in the dev channel will see. In my case, this is not available to me. I will probably make a different video in which I'll show you how to manually enable that. But of course, on the screen, you're able to see a screenshot of how that would look. As for changes and improvements, this is all there is to it in this build. But now we're going to talk about some fixes because we have quite a bunch of fixes. First of all, some general fixes. Microsoft fixed the issue causing ARM64 devices to fail to resume from sleep or hibernate when running build 25281 and getting stuck at the OS boot logo. Also, they fixed an issue where some insiders may have issues accessing websites and other resources via VPN connections. And they also fixed an issue causing some insiders to experience freezes when using the browser and certain other apps in recent dev channel builds. Regarding the taskbar and system tray, they fixed an explore.exe crash which could cause the taskbar to not load for some insiders. Insiders. Regarding the search on the taskbar, they fixed an issue where the search box would randomly disappear sometimes when you clicked it, leaving a blank space on the taskbar, and also they fixed an issue where the search box was shifting to the side slightly when you clicked it. Regarding the task manager, they fixed an issue where the data content area of the processes page might flash once when theme changes were applied in task manager settings page. They fixed an issue where some dialogues did not render in the correct theme when applied from task manager settings page. They also fixed an issue where properties in the the memory section in the performance page were getting truncated even though there was space to display them, reduced the transparency of graph colors in the performance page, and adjusted the borders to make them stand out more. They fixed a few issues causing task manager crashes, typing F in the search box should work again now. You now shouldn't have to make task manager be as wide before the navigation pane appears. If text scaling has been increased, the search box shouldn't overlap with the title bar text anymore. They also made some tweaks to address cases where text and dialogue logs was getting cut off when text scaling was increased and they also fixed an issue where certain parts of the title bar couldn't be used to drag the window. Regarding Windows Spotlight, Microsoft fixed the issue causing some people to not get a consistent refresh of images on a daily basis. Regarding the settings app, they fixed an issue where the preview for SAS, serif collection and personalization and fonts was displaying broken glyphs. And we also have some other fixes, for example they fixed an issue that was preventing narrator from announcing drop down lists in Excel, also they fixed an underlying issue which could cause snipping tool screenshots to become stretched out and distorted in the last few builds if you had multiple monitors. They also fixed an issue which could cause a bug check with system service exception. Also an issue was fixed regarding the open with dialog crash on launch and also they fixed an issue where the open file dialog would hang if you clicked it while using an IME after having selected choose an app on your PC from the open with dialog. And also they fixed an issue which could cause group policy editor to unexpectedly show an error has occurred 
occurred in the script on this page with invalid character error when editing a group policy. So basically, this is all there is to this build. If you want to check out the whole list of fixes and also the known issues in this build, you can go ahead and click on the article below in the video's description. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.